So, I mean, you always uh, see at these gatherings, I've been to a couple, uh, well, Google is doomed. Um, <laughs> That's because you asked me to be provocative. <laughs> and, you know, the, uh, somebody asked about, uh, does Congress... Larry Page will not talk to me again. I think. Oh, he will. Um, Suzanne asked, uh, have you shared your, with the U.S. Congress your theories about companies dying versus, quote, too big to fail? Have I shared with whom? With, the, with the U.S. Congress. Uh, no, the, you know, it's too big to, to fail no. in a, an abomination no. in your world? Probably is. Well, it is in, a, in the sense that, um, you know, the, the, the speculation is, uh, what I said earlier, that um, since companies seem to be very much more like organisms, and, it's, and in organisms for, you know, if you believe in Darwinian evolution, it's very important that organisms die so that you know, new ideas, new phenomena can evolve. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's crucial for the economy. I think that's absolutely crucial for the economy that companies die. And so, uh, but of course there is, you know, to mitigate that, as in the case of too big to fail, you know, I suppose there can be consequences for mm -hmm. the overall economy that uh, someone, some politician judges to be uh, disastrous for the economy. But may I say, I will say a, um, a very provocative statement. One of the problems being a scientist working in this is the frustration that the people making the decisions um, don't rarely talk to scientists, very, to very rarely talk to uh, social scientists. They do talk to economists, <laughs> which may be the problem. Yeah, what about that? <laughs> <laughs> And so uh, it's a problem. So one of the things I have discovered, incidentally, in my talking with politicians and policymakers and hmm. so on, is that uh, most people uh, don't understand what an exponential is. When you say something's expanding exponentially, you don't understand what it is. And if, if you give me a minute, I'll present a little cartoon of that. Can I take a second? And Do it. Okay. Exponential. So here it is. Um, so imagine that I want to make a test tube of penicillin. And I know that if I start at 8 o'clock in the morning with a couple of penicillin bacteria, I'll fill up the tube. Okay, at noon. Mm -hmm. At noon. Okay. So you put these, this bacterium in the test tube, and it doubles every second. Every second it's doubling. And I've calculated that by noon it will be full. Question. When is it half full? What time between 8 and noon is the tube half full? Just a second. second before. So it's only half full a second before. Now think of the following. Think of five seconds before. Five seconds before is 2 to the fifth, which is 32. So it's 3% full. So five seconds before, here's this test tube, and it's just this teeny weeny bit. So those bacteria in there are saying, it's great, doubling, growing, everything's fantastic. Looks like it's infinity to go, you know. They don't realize that five seconds later, it's all over. <laughs> that's exponential growth. And that's the problem. 